Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here with our part three video in the series of solving exponential equations, this one for unlike bases. So in our first part of the series we solved with like bases, now we're going to be looking at something like three to the x equals five to the x. Three and five are not similar, I can't easily turn 3 into a power of 5. So what we'll need to do is solve these using logarithms for sure. Now the issue is uh, these are not the same base. On the left side, how do I undo an exponential operation base 3? Well, I would need to take a log base 3 of both sides. That's great, and it'll get rid of base 3 exponential, but a log 3 on the other side will not get rid of an exponential base 5 because these are not opposite operations. They don't have the same base. Logarithms and exponentials are only inverse operations when they have the same base. So log base 3 isn't really going to help us on the right side so much. If I focus more on the right side and I want to get rid of exponential base 5, well then I might take a log base 5 of both sides. Again, that's going to help us now on the right side. Log base 5 and 5 exponential are opposite operations, but log 5 and 3 exponential are not. So log base 5 doesn't help us on the left side. It turns out it doesn't really matter what type of logarithm that we take. What I will choose to do in this video is choose a logarithm that you have a button on the calculator for if you're using any scientific or graphing calculator. So you can use log base 10 or you can use natural log. In this video I'm just going to use natural log and we'll show you how that works because no matter what base we choose it's not going to simplify both sides for us all in one shot as it is. So what we'll go ahead and do is actually think about taking the natural log of both sides. Now neither of these are base e, so it doesn't simplify for us right away. What I can do though is I can use properties of logarithms and from our properties of logs video we said remember when you have an exponent inside of a logarithm you can take that exponent and move it outside of the logarithm in front multiplying that log. So I can take this x inside of each logarithm and move it out front and multiply the log by that x. So we actually get x times ln of 3 and we get x times ln of 5. If we're solving for x and it's in more than one place then we want to get our terms together. Since these are both x terms I'm going to move them to the same side. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract this term over to the other side. So I will get x times ln of 3 minus x times ln of 5 and there's nothing left on this side so we just say equal to 0. Now it's kind of difficult to put these together and figure out what's going on so what I'm going to actually do, what I'm solving for is in each term, I'm just going to go ahead and factor out the x that I'm solving for from each term. So in other words I get x times the quantity ln 3 minus ln of 5 equal to 0. And now if I want to solve this for x, I have x times this stuff in parentheses, I would just simply do the opposite which is divide by that stuff in parentheses. So I'm going to do that same thing over here as well. So I'm going to get that x is equal to 0 divided by natural log of 3 minus natural log of 5. And the answer is just going to be 0 for this one this one a nice simple answer of 0. If we look at another one, here I have 2 to the x equals 5 to the x plus 1. 5 is not a nice base that I can turn into a power of 2 easily, so I cannot make the bases match. These are unlike bases. So I'll just go ahead and choose again natural log. Again, I'm choosing natural log because it's a button I have on the calculator, and if I want to get a decimal approximation at some point, it will be easy for me to do that using the calculator. Okay, so we have ln of 2 to the x equals ln of 5 to the x plus 1. Let's use properties of logs and go ahead and move this stuff outside in front of the log. That's a property we have. We can move the exponent out. So we get x times natural log of 2 equals, now we're moving all of the x plus 1, right? So we get quantity x plus 1 times ln of 5. Okay, what we want to do is get all our x terms on the same side and get all our not x terms on the other and then we can solve. The problem is over here I've got this number ln of 5 outside of some stuff so maybe we need to distribute the ln 5 before it's really clear what we're going to be able to do here. So we get x times ln of 2 is equal to x times ln of 5 plus, now 1 times ln of 5 isn't going to change anything, right? That just stays ln of 5. 
Okay, so think about what we need to do. We need to get all our x stuff on one side and all our not x stuff on the other. So this is an x term and this is an x term. I want those together. This is not an x term, so it needs to stay by itself, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and move this over so it's with the other x term. So if I do that, I will get x times ln of two minus x times ln of five equals this other term that's not an x term ln of 5. Okay, now what I did in the last one I'm going to do here. I have what I'm solving for in more than one term, so I'm just going to factor out the x from both of those terms. So if we go up here, that will be x times ln of 2 minus ln of 5, if I factor out the common x. And then on the right side, I still just have ln of 5, so ln of 5 there. And now I have x times all the stuff in parentheses. So to solve for x, I need to divide by all that stuff in the parentheses. So over here, we'll divide by ln of 2 minus ln of 5. And then our answer will be ln of 5 divided by ln of 2 minus ln of 5. Okay, this is our exact answer. One beware, you cannot reduce the ln 5s. To reduce something, it needs to be a factor. ln of 5 in the bottom is not a factor in the bottom, it's only a term. So you cannot reduce the ln 5s. Hopefully you can see now why I chose ln of x. If I need a decimal approximation for this, I have an ln button on my calculator. I can simply type all of this into the calculator if I need a decimal approximation. So if I need a decimal approximation and I type all that in, then I should get that x is equal to about negative 1.76-ish if I round to a couple of places here. Okay, let's look at our last example here. With unlike bases, we have 7 to the x minus 1, 3 to the x plus 2. These are not like bases. I can't turn 7 into a power of 3 easily or vice versa. Let's just go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. So ln of 7 to the x minus 1 is equal to ln of 3 to the x plus 2. Now properties of exponents says I can move the exponents out front, so that would be x minus 1 times ln of 7 equals x plus 2 times ln of 3. Now here I'm going to need to get all of my x's together and all of my not x terms together, so let's go ahead and distribute our ln 7 and our ln 3. So we'll get x times ln of 7, negative 1 times ln 7 would just be minus ln of 7. Over here, x times ln of 3, so x times ln of 3. And then here we have 2 times ln of 3, so that would be plus 2 times ln of 3. You can choose to rewrite this if you see this a different way or not. It's not going to make a difference, I think, too much at the end. Uh, so here I need to get all of my x terms together. I have an x term here and an x term here, and I need to get all of my not x terms together. This is a not x term and this is a not x term. So let's go ahead and move everything to the correct side. So this x ln 3, I'm going to subtract it over to the other side. So this would be x times ln of 7 minus x times ln of 3, and then this one needs to be on this side, so I'm going to add it over to the other side. So we're going to say 2 ln of 3 plus ln of 7 on the right side. Now we'll go ahead and factor out what we're solving for since it's in more than one term. So if I scroll down a little bit, factoring out x, we'll get x times ln of 7 minus ln of 3, all of that in parentheses. And then over here, we'll have 2 ln of 3 plus ln of 7. I'm solving for x. I have x times everything in parentheses here, so I need to divide by everything in parentheses. So I divide by ln of 7 minus ln of 3. I need to do the same thing over here. Divide by ln of 7 minus ln of 3. I cannot reduce ln 7s or ln 3s because those are terms, not factors on the right, and we don't reduce terms, we reduce factors. So we can go ahead and say that x equals this stuff over here, right? 2 times ln of 3 plus ln of 7 over ln of 7 minus ln of 3. Now we might also do some rearranging of our logs here. For example, on the top, we could go ahead and bump this 2 up 
and make it ln of 3 squared, and that would become ln of 9 plus ln of 7 over ln of 7 minus ln of 3. You could do some other things. You could combine the things on the top, right? Properties of logs. You could go ahead and say ln of 9 times 7 and put it in the same log and say ln of 63 on the top over ln of 7 minus ln 3. There are many ways to write this, so any of these are probably just fine. And just remember we chose natural log to begin with because you have an ln button on any scientific or graphing calculator pretty much universally. So if you type this in the calculator, you can get a decimal approximation of about 4.89-ish. Okay, that is our solving exponential equations, part three video, solving with unlike bases, using just a common log that you have on the calculator taking that of both sides, and then working with properties of logs to get x by itself. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.